So today we're gonna find out, can the new Lenovo Tab M10 Plus beat the Galaxy Tab A8, which is the better budget or more affordable tablet? We're gonna compare several categories to try to find out. Pricing on these are gonna be somewhat similar. The Tab M10 Plus starts around $189 and goes up to $230. The Galaxy Tab A8 is a little more expensive, starting at around $230, goes up to $329. Depending on which version you get there's a three gigabytes of ram 32 gigabytes of storage for both tablets then there's also a 64 gigabytes of storage and 128 for both tablets as well but i'll leave a link in the description of the video with current pricing and more information you get a 10.6 inch 2000 by 1200 resolution on the Lenovo tablet, 10.5 inch 1920 by 1080 resolution on the Galaxy Tab A8. Nice thing is you get 2160p resolution when watching YouTube videos and full HD playback on Netflix for the Tab M10 Plus, only 1080p resolution on YouTube, SD playback on Netflix on the Galaxy Tab A8, at least the version I have here. I have heard there's an update for the Galaxy Tab, Mine still hasn't got that yet. Both of these are gonna look good for watching movies, playing games, just browsing online. But when you put them next to each other, Lenovo appears to be a little bit brighter, has better viewing angles as well. It might be hard to see in this video, but certain colors just look brighter on the Lenovo tablet. Overall dimensions are pretty similar between the two, and they're both gonna be fine for reading. Text looks pretty good on both tablets. You can't really go wrong with either one as far as screen quality. But surprise Surprisingly, if you want the better display, I would go with Lenovo. Now when it comes to the battery life on these two, during my battery drain test, the Tab A8 lasted seven hours before completely dying, and the Tab M10 Plus lasted pretty much the same amount of time, seven hours battery life. Now keep in mind, this is at full screen brightness. You shouldn't have a problem with either tablet making it through the entire day with normal usage, or even a couple days with light use and lower screen brightness. You can't go wrong with either one. The results were pretty much the same. Now, when it comes to software, the Galaxy Tab A8 is currently on Android 11. The M10 Plus is on Android 12. Kind of weird to see Lenovo on a newer version of Android than Samsung, but I'm sure Samsung's gonna release Android 12 sometime later this year. They're also gonna be slightly different in how they do things uh, within the software and is gonna come down to personal preference on which one you like better. Now you're not gonna get Samsung DeX on this Galaxy Tab or productivity mode on this Lenovo tablet, but you can still use split screen, connect a keyboard and mouse to do some multitasking. Just keep in mind, these are considered entry level tablets, so they're not gonna have the best performance when trying to do several things at once. There's a few things that I like and dislike on both, but again, it's gonna come down to personal preference for most people. I may lean slightly towards Samsung, others may lean towards Lenovo, Novo, you're going to be able to do pretty much the same thing on both and it's really just too close to call when it comes to which has the better software. Now when it comes to Geekbench testing, the M10 Plus is almost identical to the Tab A8 and multi-core scores as well. But when doing the compute test, again it was pretty similar, just slightly better on the Lenovo tablet. Now the version I have of the Tab M10 Plus has 4GB of RAM, where my Tab A8 only has 3GB of RAM. So you'll have to take that into consideration as well. Lenovo is using the MediaTek Helio G80 processor, Samsung's using the Unisoc T. 618 processor. So if you want the more powerful tablet, these are actually really similar. And I can't really say one feels like it's faster or has better performance than the other. Same thing with gaming. You're going to get HD graphics, high frame rates on games like PUBG Mobile for both tablets. Asphalt 9 plays nice and smooth on both as well. One game that doesn't look that great on these two is going to be Apex Legends of Mobile. I mean, it's still playable. I didn't have any problems, glitches, or anything like that during my testing, it's just the graphics aren't going to look as good as on a more expensive tablet. Even though the games and graphics might take a little bit longer to load compared to those more expensive tablets out there, I think most people are going to enjoy playing games on either one. 
Nice thing is you get a headphone jack on both tablets, which is something they've been taking away from more expensive tablets, and both have a quad speaker setup with Dolby Atmos, and they actually sound pretty good for budget tablets. This is another category where it's just a little too close to call. Here's a couple samples of each, just to give you an idea of what to expect. When it comes to the cameras, you get an eight megapixel rear facing, five megapixel on the front of the Galaxy Tab, eight megapixel for both front and rear cameras on the M10 Plus. Nice thing is you get up to 1080p resolution for video recording on both tablets. The bad news is these aren't really that great at taking photos or video compared to a lot of mid-range, even budget cell phones that have came out the last few years. I feel like Lenovo is slightly better here, but if you have to use one of these for a zoom meeting or a video conference call i mean these might get you by you just want to make sure you have really good lighting because both are going to struggle especially in low light situations here's a few samples of each just to give you an idea of what to expect So hopefully this video gave you a little closer look at the new Tab M10 Plus by Lenovo versus the Galaxy Tab A8. Some of the categories are really close. Others, I feel like Lenovo has the slight advantage. The other thing I forgot to mention is with the Lenovo tablet, you can use the Precision Pen 2. It seems like it's out of stock just about everywhere. So I'd like to try that out eventually. And I'm gonna be doing more comparisons to the M10 Plus, hopefully next week. So you'll definitely wanna look out for those. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.